to Global Values Reading Time. My name is Yasmin Garjaka, and today we're going to be reading Pinkalicious, The Princess of Pink Slumber Party by Victoria Karen. Pinkalicious, The Princess of Pink Slumber Party. I was having a slumber party. Not any old slumber party, a princess of pink slumber party. My whole family got ready. Mommy and Daddy dressed up as a king and as a queen. I am the royal prince, said Peter. He grabbed the crown out of my hand. You're more like the royal joker, I told him. Ding dong! The princesses are here, I said. I twirled my way to the door and let my royal friends in. Welcome, I said with a curtsy. Enter the castle, my fair maidens. How grand, Molly said. I'm ready for the ball, Rose said. Hello, Princess Allison, I said. Hi, said Allison quietly. She held her bear tightly. Let's play musical thrones. I started the music and we danced around the chairs. I didn't even mind being the last one left without a throne. Yay, I won, said Molly. Your prize, your majesty, I said. I handed Molly a pink pinkatastic wand. It's time to make some tiaras, I said. Ooh, Rose said, look at those dazzling jewels. My tiara is going to twinkle like a star, said Molly. Look at me, I said. I put my tiara proudly on my head. I have the sparkliest tiara in all the land. Dinner is served, said Mommy. We made a royal feast, said Daddy. Princess in the split pea soup, chicken nuggets a la pink, and castle cupcakes for dessert. Peter said, if I was the ruler, I would always eat desserts first. Yum, I said, that would be a very sweet kingdom. After dinner, Peter climbed on top of a pile of pillows and yelled, I am the king of the castle. It's princesses of the castle around here. I said, princesses rule, said Molly. Suddenly, I heard a sniffle. It came from Allison. What's wrong? I asked her. I'm scared to sleep over, she whispered in my ear. I gave Allison a hug. Sleeping away from home can be kind of scary, I said. What would a real princess do to make Allison feel better? I asked. Protect her from the villains, Rose said. A princess's face is her pearls with strength, Molly said. Allison still looked scared. I know, I said, a real princess would have a dragon to protect her. Close your eyes, I said. Unlock the magical kingdom, I said. What do you see? Nothing, said Allison. Listen, I said. Do you hear the dragon walk outside in the enchanted forest? That's your dad walking down the hall, said Rose. Breathe, I said. S do you smell the odor of the dragon's breath? Oh, excuse me, Molly said. I just burped. Wait, I said. Don't you hear the loud beating of the dragon's heart? That is my heart, said Rose. I would never seen a dragon before. Now open your eyes, I said. The dragon is here. It's pink and it's breathing fire. Look how spiky its tail is. I see the dragon, Allison said. It is sparkling in the moonlight. The dragon smiled. She will protect us, I said. What do you think the dragon's name is? Rose asked. Allison yawned. Can I tell you in the morning? I'm so sleepy. <sighs> Good night, princesses of pink, I said. Good night, dragon, we all said. Outside, the dragon.
second wing. I love this story because it's very fun and it's really good for like 